My name is Ira Paston. I am the co-chief of the Laboratory of Molecular Biology in the National Cancer Institute at NIH. And my interest is in developing new agents to treat cancer. And the specific agents that we make are called recombinant immunotoxins. We use recombinant DNA techniques to make these proteins. Uh, the proteins consist of a piece of an antibody that, and a piece of a bacterial toxin. The antibody portion binds to an antigen in a cancer cell, and the toxin portion goes into the cell and kills the cell. And what's special about these, this class of agents, um, which are kind of like magic bullets, is that the toxin kills the cell by inhibiting protein synthesis. And that's different from how all other chemotherapies work. So this immunotox these immunotoxins that we make can kill drug-resistant cells and can synergize with standard chemotherapy to give better anti-tumor activity without increasing side effects in patients. Uh, we've developed two of these. Uh, one described in this paper, and another called moxitumumab pseudotox that's being developed by AstraZeneca for the treatment of refractory hairy cell leukemia. Um, the immunotoxin we call moxi for short um, is actually finishing a phase three pivotal trial and we'll know within a year whether it'll be approved for a treatment of leukemia by the FDA. Uh, this paper focuses on an immunotoxin used to treat solid tumors. Obviously, solid tumors are a more difficult and more prevalent disease than lymph, lymph malignancies of the immunological system. And it targets a protein called mesothelin, so mesothelin is a protein we discovered about 20 years ago uh, in a search for good targets on cancer cells. And the reason it's a good target is that it's only expressed in non-essential mesothelial cells lining the pleura and the peritoneum and pericardium, but not on any essential organs. And it's expressed highly on mesothelioma, but also it turns out for reasons not understood yet, on most pancreatic cancers, about a third of lung cancers, about 70% of ovarian cancers, on stomach cancers and cholangial carcinomas and even other cancers. So it's a really popular target at the moment. And now not only is it a focus of our work with immunotoxins, but also many big pharma have antibody drug conjugates targeting mesothelin and a company called... Uh, Morphotech has a whole uh, naked humanized antibody now about to enter phase three trials. So targeting mesothelin is a very exciting thing at the moment. There's a lot of interest in it because of its specificity on cancers and lack of expression on normal essential tissues. So our particular approach, as I mentioned in the beginning, is to make these fusion proteins which contain a piece of an antibody to mesothelin and a bacterial toxin. Uh, we developed an agent uh, about 10 years ago called SS1P, which has a mouse FV targeting mesothelin and um, a large portion of Pseudomonas exotoxin. So in this new immunotoxin described in this paper called LMBT14, we have made several mutations to decrease the immunogenicity and increase the activity of the immunotoxin. So a major problem with protein toxins is that they are made from foreign organisms and can only be given to patients with normal immune systems for one or perhaps two cycles. They can be given to patients with hematological malignancies for many cycles because their immune system is damaged by the disease itself and by the chemotherapy they receive. But for solid tumors, 
chemotherapy does not suppress the immune system, and so the toxin creates antibodies. So we have been working to prevent antibody formation by genetically engineering the toxin so that it is not recognized by the immune system. Uh, we originally began by identifying B cell epitopes um, and mutating those to residues that are not recognized by the immune system. And then we did a second series of experiments identifying T cell epitopes and mutating those so they're not recognized by the immune system. And in this particular paper, we then combined B and T cell epitopes to make a molecule we think is, we should have very low immunogenicity in people. Um, the evidence that it should have low immunogenicity in people comes from two kinds of experiments. Uh, one is when we react the protein with antibodies to the toxin, reactivity, antigenicity is greatly diminished, and we test the protein in our culture system for T-cell epitopes its T-cell reactivity is greatly diminished. So both sets of data suggest that in people this will be less immunogenic. And in addition, we have done some experiments in mice to mimic what happens in people, and when this agent is given to mice, it has very low immunogenicity. So it's a wonderful new approach as a new generation of immunotoxin, and currently, uh, we are looking for companies to help develop it uh, for therapy of mesothelioma, ovarian cancer, lung cancer, perhaps other malignancies.